your, let's say, Hindi, for example. Why is there a need to type that uh, in, in, in in Linux? So, so for for India, right? If you look at uh, the statistics, you'll see that how I many of what are the languages here? You see any missing language here? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. That's that's a good. But that, that's because of population, right? Goa has a small smaller population. Uh, less than fifty percent speak Hindi, so Hindi is also not like the absolute majority over here. English. English. Yeah. But do you think English is there somewhere in the graph over here? No. Actually, it's there. How much percent do you think uh, English is? Sorry. That's a correct answer. It's it's zero point zero two. Very nice answer. <laughs> anyway, so 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 there is English. People do speak English, but not as their first language, right? And this from census, from uh, the 2011 census, uh, after 10 years they do another census, I could not take 20, 21 data because, uh, because of COVID, government can't do the census survey. Anyways, let's go ahead. So, again, okay, discussing the need for uh, localization in Linux, mainly, I won't read through all the points, but the, uh, the, the, the need is clear, right? It's, it's it's being more inclusive. We can reach a much wider audience. Um, we, we can be inclusive of culture. Uh, there are different cultures, there are different languages all across uh, the country, and we need to include them. So let's say some some kid uh, studying somewhere in some remote location, in some remote place in the village, might be speaking some some language that is, is uh, for which uh, there there's almost no almost nothing that you can just Google and read. Right, um, it gives a better experience. Uh, you English is not your first language. You read in some other language that can be useful. Governments, 